Improving diversity in clinical trials is critical for the industry. It's really important for us as a group of researchers to understand how these medications work differently in different genders as well as different ethnicities. And so there's been a lot of activity and a lot of work that has gone into trying to enhance participation and increase recruitment of patients from various ethnic groups as well as genders. 12% of the U.S. population are African Americans, but less than 5% of them actually participate in clinical trials. That's a statistic that we need to get behind and we need to understand why are they not participating. In addition, cancer is the leading cause of death for Asians, yet less than 3% of clinical trial participants are of Asian descent. We need to, as an industry, spend a lot of time trying to find ways in which we can work to, together to try to reach these various um, ethnic groups. Women are often a difficult population to reach in clinical trials. Number one, they're the primary caregiver, oftentimes um, of, of their children. They also oftentimes are taking care of their parents, and a lot of times some women um, don't have flexible jobs that allow them to take vacation time. So we're looking at ways in which we can make it easier for patients to participate. We've been trying a number of different techniques to try to reach these different patient populations. Areas such as partnering with patient advocacy groups, working with churches that focus on um, different ethnic groups as well. We've also spent a lot of time building out social communities and having content that might um, relate more with people of a different ethnicity or a different gender. It's a large issue across the globe. So regardless, when you're looking across clinical trials, whether you're in the United States or in China or um, in Africa, we're trying to find ways in which we can reach women as well as men, in which we can reach the, uh, the different ethnic groups that sit there. Mm -hmm.